Hello, it's Katie. Today I'm just going to go over a really quick tutorial on the ring to match the pair of earrings that we made a couple of days ago. So it was the herringbone earrings, I will pop a link to that at the top of the screen. So I posted a little picture of this on a Facebook group that I help run. So, and that's called Jewelry Making Addicts Anonymous. There is a link below to that as well. And um, this is uh, what I made to match the earrings and a few people asked if I could um, recreate it for a tutorial. So here it is. So it's very comfortable to wear. It's actually an adjustable ring, so you can make it to, so it'll fit quite a lot of ring sizes. So it, it's it's really, really beautiful and really, really comfortable. So what we're gonna need is some one millimeter wire, some 0.4 millimeter wire. I'm using a ring mandrel, but you could use, use like a chunky pencil or something, a chunky pen, you know, like sort of the big felt tip pens. And we're also gonna need some round nose pliers, some chain nose or narrow nose pliers, and some flush cutters or snips. Okay, so we're gonna get straight on and start our design. We'll also need our eight millimeter bead. So I've pre-cut a little piece of wire. So this is about between eight, nine centimeters long. So it's, it's not hugely a long piece. It's not gonna use a lot of wire. And we're also going to need a piece of weaving wire. So this is probably about 30 centimeters long. You will need to cut another little piece shortly, but we'll just do this piece for now. So in the center, I'm gonna pop my wire underneath and make a couple of wraps onto the one millimeter wire. So, and then I'm gonna push that down a little bit so that I know I'm gonna be working in the middle here. And what I can do is turn that over now so that my wires are both on the top and then I can cut off that tail because we don't need that. It's not often in wire work we cut off the tail, one of the first things, but on this one, we kind of just need it out of the way and just make sure you just give that little pat down with your pliers, little squish, just to make sure it's, um, there's no ends kind of sticking out. Right, so we need to pop our bead on so that our wraps that we just made are closest to the bead and our wire is closest to us. Okay, so now all we're gonna do is very similar to the earrings, we're gonna bring that wire up the outside, down the side and over the top of the wire here. So I've come around the outside, just framed that bead and then over the top of the wire and then I'm gonna wrap once and twice, okay? Then I'm gonna turn my wires, I'm gonna turn this base wire so I'm working in the opposite direction. And then I'm gonna bring this wire up against that bead again, over the top, so I'm coming over the top and over the top of those first two, those first wraps that we did, and then once, twice, okay? So we've come all the way around the bead now and framed that bead. Now we're gonna do that three more times, so we've got four times in total, and every time we come up the side, we're gonna come underneath the one that we just did. So, so our lines, our lines of wire are gonna stay parallel to each other. So cross up that side, come across the wire, and then go one, two, to the other side, underneath that other wire. You can stabilize it by holding it with your thumb if you need to. Across and then one, two. And we're gonna do that a couple more times. So up, across, one, two. Across, one, two. And the last set across and one, two and across and one, two. Okay, so just make sure your little beads in the center, it will slide up and down here. The other thing that we did exactly the same as the other, as the earrings, we just not hard, just nicely, just tapped those into place just so that they sit really nicely and it kind of splays them out very slightly as well. So that's the front of our design. Now all we're gonna do is start wrapping the wire. So we want to wrap around about an inch on each side. So I'm making sure that every few steps you push that in. So wrap, 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 wrap. And until we get to about an inch. 
So we'll go a little bit further than that. And then what you're gonna do is add a piece of wire to this side and do the exact same thing. So just roll some roll some of the 0.4 around that gizmo, coil it around it, and then you will be at this stage. So now you will find that the this side does roll, but once it's actually in the ring shape, it, it, it does stay in shape, so don't worry about that. So make sure there's nothing sharp, make sure you've just given your, all your ends a little squish, make sure there's nothing sharp in the way. So now we're going to start shaping it. So we don't need to worry too much at this point about ring size, just an around about size. So we want to, if I do it this way, we want to kind of balance that stone so that we bend it evenly. So bringing that around, so we're bending both sides nice and evenly like so okay because that it's the stone that's going to sit against against your finger at the front okay so now we can, now we've got to this stage we can bend these around like so until we get a nice shape around there okay if it doesn't come out of shape slightly just adjust but we want it to sit around so it's not going to sit in a perfect circle because we've got this this uh, gemstone at the front there but that's the kind of shape that we're looking for okay so where these cross at the back if you've got around about the, the size that you're wanting where they cross over at the back and we've got that bare wire what we're going to do is just snip them kind of about a centimetre overlap. Whoops. So around about there and there. So we've got even amounts at each side. And then all we're going to do is pop our round nose pliers in and turn them upwards so they're coming away from each other. So popping my pliers in right at the tip of that top piece of wire there. So if I just pull them apart slightly. You can see them on that top piece of wire and just support it with your fingers so right on the tip and just start turning so turning right on the very tip there now what you might find is that the very very end of your wire is quite straight so you can just snip that off very slightly and then continue the round like so and the same at the other side. And if you want to make one that's kind of more adjustable, you could leave these a little bit longer so they could actually cross each other if they wanted to. And snip the very end of that. There we go. So and just continue that around. But I like mine to have like a little bit of a gap at the back and they find them a little bit more comfortable like that. So you can shape them with your fingers a little bit but that is ready to wear, ready to be worn and it's fully adjustable and it's beautiful. I, I've really, I've had this on all morning today. I've really enjoyed wearing it. So there you go. That's your little demonstration of how to make your ring. Really quick makes. Great for when we're able to do craft fairs and things again because you can make, make them up really quickly. And you can even make them in front of people really super quickly as well. So that's our demonstration for the ring. Um, click like if you if you'd enjoyed this uh, this tutorial. I've got lots more coming up soon. I've I've got lots and lots of time at the moment, so um, tutorials are kind of my thing at the moment. So I will see you again soon. Don't forget to click subscribe if you want to, don't want to miss out on any of my future tutorials. And take care. See you soon.